Bloom, as you know, is made up of two components. The first one is the content generation. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually generate content from YouTube videos. Now this is my own blog and I'm using Bloom on this blog. So I'm going to show you how to do this. i just show you kind of me setting up a blog if you like. So I'm going to click there and uh, you can see the, uh, the Bloom icon here. So I'm going to click there. Uh, this is already set up, but it's very, very easy to set up Bloom. It's simply a case of putting in your uh, YouTube API key. And uh, obviously all the details of that are contained in the members area. But now what you can do is you can put a phrase in here. So you can see some trending videos down here, but these are not related to my blog. These will just pop up anyway. Um, if, if you have like a new style blog and you want to use uh, trending videos, then by all means use one of these. But mine is kind of related to um, internet marketing. Uh, it's my own blog, as you've just seen. So I'm going to put something relevant in here. So I could just put a phrase in here, or I could just put in um, the URL of a video. So let me just have a, have a look at that. So I'm going to run um, a series of blog posts on how to produce an income from Clickbank uh, without a website. So I found a video on YouTube. So this one here, and then all I need to do is click submit like so. You just wait for it to load. Now you can see that it's pulled all of the content from the YouTube video. Now let me explain exactly what it does. So I know there's an awful lot of plugins out there that they kind of pull content from YouTube descriptions. So the stuff that you see underneath the video, well, you know, there's a ton of, um, there's a ton of plugins and products which do that. And it, it's not really great. And I'll tell you why, because all of that content, all of those descriptions are actually indexed by Google. So that means if you're using that content, then you're not going to get um, any kind of SEO uh, increase. In fact, you may actually uh, find yourself penalized for using a lot of duplicate content. Whereas what Bloom does is it takes the content from within the video. So this guy here, for example, he's speaking. So all of his words are transcribed here. So Bloom actually uses the spoken word from within the video, and it does that through closed captions and subtitles, which are not indexed by Google. So that means you can take all of this. Uh, let me just um, actually, let me just show you this now. So if I select all of that, I know it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but if I just select all of that and copy, and then if I go over to copy scope, let me just uh, log in again. Okay, so this is Copyscape Premium, and uh, I'm just going to paste all of that text in there, like you see there, and click like so. So you can see that there are 1,921 words, and there are zero results. So you have unique content. Like I said, the closed captions, the subtitles that you pull from within the video are not indexed by Google. So you can build out an authority blog based on other people's videos, and it's completely unique. Now let's, uh, let's go back to the, um, the blog. Let's have a look. Now, uh, obviously, uh, if you were just um, putting up um, a blog just to, um, just to kind of rank, and uh, just to um, put your AdSense ads in there, um, then, you know, you could pretty much use it like this, just separate it up a bit. I mean, it's not in paragraphs at the moment, so you will have to do that. But you can see how simple it is. What you can do is um, you can just paste that into um, a document and just uh, mess about with it, edit it or edit it in this editor here. Um, let me just cover the other aspects first. So it pulls the title, so you can change that if you want to. And it pulls the tags, so all of the tags from the, um, the YouTube video, it pulls the thumbnail. So I'm not going to use this guy's thumbnail, obviously. <laughs> so I'm just going to click there. Now what you can do here is you can upload your own files. If you don't have an image in mind and you just want to do this quickly and do this um, free, really, uh, what you can do is if you click on search image, and this is all included in Bloom, 
then you can search through um, through uh, free image galleries such as uh, Pixabay, I think it is. Um, but let's just let's just say uh, online and see what we find. Okay, so you can see that there are a number of images that we could use and we can use these um, free because they're on Pixabay. Yes, it is Pixabay. So, you know, it kind of depends on what you put up here, um, but you can find a ton of images over on Pixabay uh, just by putting the phrase in there. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use my own image. Like I say, this is my own blog, so I kind of keep everything uniform. So I'm just going to click there and upload a file. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here and alternative text. I'm going to paste in the uh, the main keyword or phrase that I want to use. I'm also going to put that in the description. All of this is um, it's just great for SEO really. So let's set that into post so you can see that I have my thumbnail there. So this is the, uh, the featured image. Okay, so that's going to show at the top of my blog, uh, blog post, sorry. Now you can also spin the content. Um, again, this is entirely up to you, but because this is um, an authority blog and my own blog that I'm building here, then I like to kind of edit it myself. But you know, it really is as simple as putting in the URL of the video or just putting in a phrase and choosing um, a video to use. And then it pulls all of the details into here. So I'm going to leave that for a second. I'll just show you uh, the details over here. So obviously all of the categories that you have set up in your blog will show here. So let me say, I'm just going to I'll click there and I'll click on online income hacks. Again, this is really dependent on what categories you actually have set up. So I can include video attribution. What this means is um, you can attribute this article or this post to the video that you took the content from. Um, what I'm going to do is change it up quite a bit, so I'm not going to do that. I can include the video, so the video that I've um, taken this content from, I can include that video in the post just by clicking there. But I'm not going to do it on this post. I can include a thumbnail in this post if I wanted to. And um, publish post immediately. Now this is important. Um, so let's say that you, uh, you, you're doing pretty much what I'm doing here and you pull in some content, uh, but you want to edit it and you want to keep checking to see what it looks like. But you don't want everybody to see your um, post until it's actually ready. So if you uncheck that and then down here, click create post, it'll save it into draft. So let me do that for a second and then you can see what that looks like. So now you can see the post up here and you can see it's in pending. So it's in draft folder and it's not shown to anybody else. So if I just, uh, if I click on there, you can, uh, you can see what it looks like. So obviously it's a complete mess at the moment because it's just a whole bunch of text. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit this and uh, turn it into something that kind of fits my blog, looks good. People are going to enjoy reading it and you know, it's going to get me traffic. So let's go back and do that now. So click on edit. So what you could do is um, you could go through this, you could just uh, section it all up. So, you know, uh, the problem here is it, it doesn't come with full stops. You're gonna have to read through it and it's gonna take you a couple of minutes depending on how long the post is. I've <laughs> I've actually chosen quite a long one here, but you could choose a smaller one, but uh, I'm gonna do that a second. Just pause this for a second while I uh, spend five minutes going through this and um, put something that I wanna use on my blog together. Okay, so that took me, um, well, probably a little bit longer than I would have liked. It's taken me about five minutes to put this together. But, you know, even so, five minutes, it's it's not long when you're putting, the, putting together a great post. 
Um, yeah, that's just me because I'm a bit methodical about this, but you can see you could do it very, very quickly. I mean, it can be done in seconds if you want to use it as is and just section it up into paragraphs. But obviously this is my end block, so I want it to look neat and I want it to look good. So what I've done is um, I've chopped it in half really because the video, um, what was discussed in the video kind of related to two methods, two clickback methods. So I've just put the first one here and then I'll use the second one in an additional post. So you can see that um, I have all the details here, I've sectioned it all up. I've put in some bold and some headlines and that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to publish that one. Let's um, let's put that as hot. And let's see what that looks like. OK, so you can see the image up here. And then the post down here. There's something else I could put in here is links so if I wanted to put links um, I could do it manually or if I go back to bloom and the setup screen actually uh, I'm not sure I can get to it now but if when you first set up um, bloom you can add global settings so if there's a word that's used throughout your blog say it's a niche blog for example um, you could just link a word to a hyperlink so you can put a link in link to a word so any word that pops up then it's going to have that hyperlink so you don't have to worry about that but personally i like to do it kind of manually but while we're here let me just show you that now so if you just click on bloom and click on settings you can see that i've got my api key in there you can also add using so if you have using and you want to integrate using into bloom you can do that here drop mark as well you can do the same buffer um, this will syndicate all of your content now i will say that um, buffer integration and the syndication um, module is not included in the front end of bloom just in case you were wondering so you would need to buy um, the first upsell if you wanted to use that but here is the special words so as i said um, if you had a number of words that you wanted to trigger a hyperlink so you can put in hyperlinks uh, text links throughout your posts you just put the word in there and the link in there and click add and this is a global setting so every time that word is used on your blog then that hyperlink will pop up and there you have it so very very easy to produce content like i say what I've shown you here is just the um, the content generation um, aspect of Bloom. Bloom is two elements. It's a content generation, which I've just shown you here, and it's a monetization. And obviously we'll cover that in an additional video. But even if you wanted to use Bloom simply for building out an authority blog and you already had a way of monetizing it and you just wanted a means of you know collecting, curating, and building great content in record time, then Bloom is kind of a unique way of doing it because as I've kind of shown um, this is unique content because it's taken from within the video I'll just uh, I'll just take that again and uh, just show you that uh, so let's paste that in there again this is the um, this is the content that I've actually uh, worked on so you can see again no results so I have complete unique content there which will get me traffic and depending on how I monetize it, it will make me money. Thanks for watching.